Elizabeth Pasquale here, wellontheway.com and wellontheway2health.com and wellontheway2abundance.com. <laughs> Lots of fun websites for you to explore. So, some of you know that I am such a fan of EFT tapping. And I want to tell you a little story about when I started and why I am so convinced of its power and effectiveness. Well, it all started a long time ago. I've been in this business over 30 years. And shortly after I started, I started exploring EFT tapping. At that time, there was a manual you could download from Gary Craig's website. You still can today. And learn from the manual and his DVDs. It was way before YouTube time. <laughs> So I was studying and practicing and studying and practicing. And at that time also I was working for hospice, doing massage for hospice. And I would go to so many different neighborhoods. I could go to the most glorious estates and I could go to the slums and I could go anywhere in between. It seemed like in every neighborhood people were dying. So this one day, I was going to this very beautiful home. Beautiful circular driveway and the big house and the gardens in the front and the back and surrounding this beautiful house. Just so magnificent and peaceful and wonderful. And I come up to the front door. <laughs> Knock on the door. And the door opens this much. And a woman peeks out and she says, Mom won't talk to the rabbi. Get her to talk to the rabbi. And I'm like, but I don't have a chance to say anything. The door swings wide open. There's the daughter who was talking to me and behind her, her mother. And that's my client that I'm to give a massage to. So, I come in, I don't have a chance to say anything. The mother says like this, and I follow her. It's a great, big, wonderful entrance hallway. To my right is a beautiful living room with these great big windows on both sides, the gardens and the sunlight pouring in the windows at the far end, a beautiful fireplace, which she goes like this. And we walk back towards the kitchen on the long hallway. And to the left is a very small room, which just fits a little cot and an old antique roll-top desk. And she lies down on the cot and she says, I don't want to talk about anything. And I said, fine, just relax. So I'm at her head and I'm doing a massage typical of what I might do. Very gentle, gentle massage on her head and her neck, and I'm thinking about what the daughter has told me. She won't talk to the rabbi. I'm supposed to convince her to talk to the rabbi. Well, that's not my job. So, but I've been doing this EFT, and somewhere in my study of EFT, tapping, so you know how it goes. You set up the premise, and then you tap to release the negative emotions. You tap on these acupuncture points. And I remember reading somewhere in my studies that if you just thought about the tapping, if you just thought about it, it would still work. If you just imagined doing the tapping, it would still work. So I thought, well, here's a time I can try that out. So while I'm doing the massage, I'm thinking in my head that I'm doing this tapping. I'm thinking that I'm doing what you see me doing here. I'm doing the setup. Even though I won't talk to the rabbi, it's okay. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Even though I, I, I won't talk to the rabbi, it's okay. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Even though all my family wants me to talk to the rabbi and I'm getting in a fight with them, it's okay. I completely, deeply love, accept, and I forgive myself. And then, I visualize myself tapping. I won't talk to the rabbi. I won't talk to the rabbi. I don't want to. <laughs> they can't make me. 
I won't talk to the rabbi. It's okay. I'm really angry. And I start visualizing myself doing this, and I'm, I'm just thinking what, whatever comes in my head, and pretty soon stuff comes into my head like this. I'm really angry about dying. I don't want to leave my parent, my friends. I don't want to leave my family. I don't want to leave my grandchildren. They are the love of my life. I'm really sad about this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to be dying right now. This is too nice with my family. I love them so much. I don't want to be separated from them. So meanwhile, I'm doing the massage. I'm doing the massage on her head and shoulders and down her arms and working down her body. And I'm just picturing myself doing this tapping and all these things coming into my head. I'm really angry about this. I'm really upset. I'm really sad. And I do it a bunch of rounds. Each tapping is called a round. I'm doing round after round. And I remember, I was at her knee. I was massaging her knee. And it came to me, this is finished. I'm done. And just at that moment, as I thought that, she says to me, all right, I'll talk to the rabbi. <laughs> and I just about fell off the bed. I was like sitting on the edge and I said, but, but I didn't say anything. And she said, yes, but I know what you're thinking. And then she said to me, I used to think it was a sign of strength not to talk to the rabbi. But now I know it was a sign of weakness. And when she said that, both of us just started to cry. The tears were running down our faces. It was such a powerful release. And after that, she talked to the rabbi, she talked to the minister, she talked to the priest, she talked to the social worker, she talked to anyone who came by. And I saw her week after week for her massage. And then one week, the daughter opened the door, said, Mom is really tired. And I came into the big hall, and in that beautiful living room, they had placed her bed right in front of the fireplace, a great king-sized bed with the beautiful quilts on it. And she was in bed and the daughter turned and walked into the room and got in bed with her mother. And so I went in and I got in bed with her too. On the other side, I was on her right and her daughter was on her left. And I began to do the soft, gentle massage. And I began to think in my mind of tapping. Even though this is the time I'm leaving my family, it's okay. I completely and deeply love myself and I accept myself. Even though this is the time of dying, it's okay. I am eternal and everything is all right. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. And I just said whatever thing came into my mind as I was doing that gentle massage. And then about an hour later, I got up and let myself out. And short time after that, I received a phone call that she had died. A wonderful, peaceful death. So, EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Tower, fondly called tapping. is a wonderful way of letting those unwanted emotions just flow through us and out. So we can be peaceful and calm and happy. And there's nothing more important than that. There is nothing more important than your happiness. So let the emotions flow. If you are in deep depression, then it'll tap away and you get yourself up into anger. Anger is better than deep depression. And then you can work yourself up into blame or something like that. That's okay. That's on the way up. Maybe you can find a little hope. That's great. Just keep tapping with the intention of moving up that ladder of emotions. And maybe not immediately, but certainly joy is here for you. There's great love here for you. This world was created for your joy. So, 
tap your way to it. Bye.